Hello YouTube land, my name is Castle Caden and we are playing Minecraft. Today we are going to be going over Mod Spotlight on the Mod Ultimate Tools. Now, if you're like me, I don't like carrying a lot of tools around, and I always wondered if there was a quicker way to actually do that. Well, now there is. Ultimate Tools! Let's get started. First and foremost, you want to actually, let's, you know, test out some combinations. So, first and foremost again, let's put a pickaxe in the center. And let's put in an axe. What happens? You get a diamond pax. This both works on trees and on, you know, stone-like materials and whatnot. So basically it has the benefits of both axes and pickaxes. That's the first one down. Let's go to the next one with a shovel. This is called a puvel. Yep, you heard it. And just FYI, there are certain combinations that will actually work in the crafting table, but not all of them. So <clears throat> to do this, you'd have to go either above or below. And that's simple, really. And it works out. It, it's rather decent. So now that we're done with that one, and again, keep in mind that this works both on dirt-like substances and stone-like substances. So this has the benefits of both shovels and pickaxes. Probably the tool that I'd use the most, in all honesty. The shaxed. That's right, you heard me. So this will work on dirt-like substances and, you know, tree-like substances. Or basically, you know, the benefits of both of those. But the main thing that I wanted to actually show you guys is, in fact, the ultimate tool. Bwahaha! So this is, yeah, the Diamond Ultimate, which has a potential of being renamed in the future according to the uh, mod page on the forums. But, uh, yeah. It looks kind of interesting. And very menacing, in fact. But you get the idea. There is another combination that I want to show you guys that's currently available, and that is, well, the bow and the sword, which equals a sow, so, sow, so, whatever, you get the idea. It basically, this will increase the durability and all that jazz, and, you know, basically everything that you'd ever want in a bow. Note that I'm in creative mode, so I can do that. I'm not going to look around for arrows at the moment. But uh, yes, so this is quite useful because it, first off, increases the durability of the two tools combined, which is nice. And uh, yeah, it's useful so you don't have to keep on switching between all of the tools. Yep, that's about it for the spotlight. It's actually a really quick spotlight, but it's something that I actually noticed on the forums and I was like, hmm, I should try it. Wow, the seed has a lot of mushrooms everywhere. Anyway, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, little mini spotlight tutorial on Ultimate Tools. Now, this is Forge-based, so do keep that in mind. I do have instructions on how to install it. Uh, the annotation's up above, so do click on that. And yeah, if you have any questions about this mod, or how to install it, or how to do anything with it, just feel free to ask. Now, <clears throat> the only downside that I'd probably mention is the fact that these cannot be enchanted at the moment. And I tried it myself, both using the enchantment table and the anvil, to see if books would work for it. But currently, it does not. That, it would be amazing if it did, but at the moment, nope, nada. So, that's about it. That's the main downside of it right now. But uh, if you don't feel like using up stuff for enchanting, you can always just create the ultimate tool and the durability will be a lot higher than default, which is nice. Very, very, very nice. Anyways, again, this has been Castle Cater, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. This has been a Mod Spotlight on Ultimate Tools. Again, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, leave a like, all of those help me out. Until next time, have fun.